congratulations. Um, can we talk about this? Is this like the end of the ride now? Is it? I think it is. This might be like this might be the last hurrah. Um, we weren't nominated for an Academy Award, but uh, we're nominated for something even better. An Independent Spirit Award. Yes. Well, I'm nominated. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, now that we, now that you've made it through these past couple of months, I guess what's been the most surprising or most memorable experience of the recognition for this movie and, and being included in all these, you know, big dances? Uh, the most memorable part of it is just been having the opportunity to meet so many other artists that I've respected throughout the years, and having interactions with people that I just have so much admiration for. Uh, to be walking amongst some of these artists is uh, just a tremendous honor. I mean, it makes the kid, Kid Glenn, I want to look back and I want to tell Kid Glenn, like, you know what I mean? Your dreams are going to come true. It's, it's, um, it's really, a, it can be quite emotional, actually. And Jill, I have to ask you, too, because you've been, been along for this, too. I know you guys have worked together. But, like, knowing him the way that you do personally and professionally, what's, it, what's been the surprising thing for you about just witnessing this moment for him? It's, the most meaningful thing. Yeah, it's been such a joy to watch because I've watched Glenn work so hard for so many years. He cares so much about his craft and what he does and puts so much love and energy into every role that he plays. To just, so to see him finally getting, you know, some recognition. I know he gets recognition and everyone loves Sonny, but to get this kind of recognition is a is another level and I'm I know that he deserves it and it's 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 been really nice to be able to witness it and and to see that he's still the same guy you know super grateful and honored and it's just been a really nice thing to watch and I know that's like the long running joke about not ever you know the sunny not getting the recognition it feels criminal um, which is the most obvious statement but has it changed your view now that you've sort of been through this a little bit more or would that still feel nice it, of course it would feel nice yeah definitely it's a funny thing it's like we're both defiant about it and also sad about it at the same time. Um, it always feels good to get the recognition of your of the business that you're in. Um, it's, a, it's just a good feeling, and to not get it is is not a great feeling. Um, you know. That being said, um, I've had the great fortune of of having so many incredible, intimate interactions with so many of our fans throughout the years. Especially now that we've been going around with this whiskey that we this whiskey company that we started, we're meeting so many people and hearing so many wonderful stories. And that impact that we've had on our audience over the last 20 years, it really doesn't get better than that. It really doesn't. Tell me about that whiskey brand. You've been still making some rounds for that. How's it going? It seems to be going very well. People are embracing it. Um, I think the best part about it, honestly, is it's really good whiskey. Um, it's called Four Walls. It's an Irish American whiskey. Um, it's a blend that we've been um, trying to put together for the last three years. And it's taken us a really long time. As these things do, you have to build them from the ground up. But uh, me, Rob, and Charlie, we, we love building things together. And um, you know, we wanted to build something that felt like a, a, a physical or let's say a liquid manifestation of uh, the show. And I wanted to ask you, this is my last question, I wanted to ask you that night, you know, after, after leading a TV show and creating a TV show, like writing it, you know, taking a smaller role is not something that everybody would have done. So now that you did it, you knocked it out of the park, you've gotten all this recognition, has it influenced at all sort of the roles you're going to go after next and, and not thinking so much on like where you are on the call sheet, but just what it, what it is and, and what you get to offer? I, I've never cared about where I am on the call sheet, truly. I, I mean that. Um, I What I care about is working with people that I enjoy working with and um, working with incredibly intelligent people that push me and that allow me to push them and that we challenge each other, push each other to become uh, better versions of ourselves as artists. And uh, you know that's the only thing I really care about. So as long as I can find people I can continue to work with that, that give me that feeling, where I feel like I'm being challenged and heard, uh, then you know I'm, I'm excited to work in almost any genre. 